Yeah, so that is the, the you know the erectile function. That is the one question we did see some differences, but it didn't seem to affect again global satisfaction with sex and, and many other parameters because I mean an act of sex life is more than just erections. There's a lot of aspects that go into sex, not just erections. Um, but you know, an erections is one of the things that we actually have decent therapies for. When we have oral therapies, which unfortunately after surgery or radiation don't always work as well, but, but can work. We have injection therapies, we have pumps, we have penile prosthesis. So we have a lot of options. But you have a person who's not interested at all, giving him uh, you know, a pump to give him erections when he has no interest in sex isn't gonna do a lot. So again, I, I think that's where we need to be. I, to me, I guess the take home message is we need to be asking these questions and having the discussions with the patients because now they have two options that have different effects on sexual activity as a whole, on erections, and really weighing the pros and cons of which direction do they want to go, what do they value, and this really comes down to shared decision making and spending the time listening to the patient rather than just give some information, all right, what do you want to pick, is what's important to you? What do you value? Given those values, it seems like this might be a better choice. Here, let's have a discussion. It's gonna take a little bit more time with the patients, but it's the right thing to do. And I think it's exciting now that we have those options. We can have those discussions with the patients.